Hey guys, David Azza here, AKA The Brawler Gamer. Guys, it's been a while. Today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different from what I've done before. Today I'm actually gonna be reviewing um, my first ever like figurine collectible kind of thing. Um, I don't do a whole lot of reviews and when I do, it's usually on different video games and movies, but I thought I'd change things up a little bit. I picked this little baby up. I've been completely obsessed with God of War lately. Um, the new one in particular. If you guys really want to see something like that, I am making a God of War review, but it takes some time because there's just so much in the game. I'm actually playing it at the present moment. I just took a break to make this. I saw this in GameStop. They only had two left. I was debating whether or not to pick it up, but eventually I said, you know what? I want it. I could do a cool review on it, and you know, that's that, because the guy at GameStop said they're not picking up any more after the two that they had there, so I said, why not just pick it up? So this is the God of War Tokatu. They're like PlayStation's little, I don't want to say Amiibos because they don't actually have any in-game functionality, but they're more so just little figurines that you can collect. So the cool thing about these is that they're, they're pretty detailed. I'll go more into it. I'll actually open it up and look at it. This is of course Kratos from the new God of War. They have a little biography. They have one in Spanish, one in English. Um, I'll read this out to you guys. Character profile, name Kratos, appearance, God of War, year of release, they're talking about the first God of War, which is 2005, story. Many years have passed since Kratos took his vengeance against the Olympians. Having survived his final encounter with his father Zeus, Kratos now lives with his young son Atreus in a world of Norse gods, a savage land inhabited by many ferocious monsters and warriors. In order to teach his son how to survive in the world, Kratos must master the rage that has driven him for many years and embrace the newfound role as a father and mentor. And that really is what um, this new God of War is about, guys. It's really just Kratos more so, you know, instead of the normal challenges, which is, you know, brutally murdering everything in his path, he's actually got to go more of an emotional route and know how to raise his son and, you know, make sure that he doesn't end up the same way that he has, you know. So this is really cool how it's got this little biography here. I hate to tear open the box, but I gotta show you guys. Um, you guys can pick these up as you can see at ThinkGeek. This is not promoted. I'm just saying you can pick it up at ThinkGeek. I got mine at GameStop, but I don't think GameStop's gonna be selling these a whole lot because they're actually not selling that well. Um, I think it's because they don't really have a selling point like, um, like the Amiibos did because they had in-game functionality. So I'm gonna tear this baby open and we can see what we've got here. All right, so let's throw this to the side. All right, so here's Kratos. Um, so what's interesting is that he's got a lot more of a tan look than um, he does normally. So he's really tan in this. It's actually showing a little bit tanner than he is in the game in actually looking at it, but he's still a lot tanner than he is in the game. Even though in the game he is a lot more tan than he normally is in the other games. Um, there's pretty good detail in the um, in the axe. Not as good as I'd hoped, but it's pretty detailed. They've got his scar from, you know, the previous games. They've got his little wraps there. It's a pretty detailed figure. Um, I'm a little upset with the eyes. Like they could have done a lot more to that and they don't have his scar on his eye, which is one thing I was really looking for in this figure was whether or not they were actually gonna add that in there. Now it's a pretty detailed figure. They've got his, you know, his Spartan markings that he um, tattooed on himself because of his brother Deimos. Um, if you guys are big God of War fans, you actually know that. If not, then no big deal. You know, you just like God of War for God of War. So it says Tokatu, um, I can't read that collection and it said it was made in China. Um, it's Kratos standing on a little snow um, plane here, which isn't too bad. I wonder if they like fit together if you get more Tokatu figures, um, because this is really a very geometric pattern, so I don't know if they're gonna like fit in with one another like that. But I think this is a pretty cool figure. Um, there's not really posability, but the arms are easy to move. The, the ax is very flimsy. You can move that all around all you want. Um, oh, and you can see his little Spartan guard. I think it's a really cool figure if you are a collector. Um, if you're looking for something like in-game, you're not really gonna get much out of this. 
But I think it's a little cool figure to have overall, put it on my little entertainment center when I'm playing the games. And you know, eventually, because I'm getting, I'm, if you guys are a fan of the channel, you'll know, I haven't really had an office for my gaming stuff. So um, I'm gonna have an office and I'll probably put this right on my desk um, because I got in a new apartment. So this is a cool little um, figure. I wish there was a little bit more detail in it, but overall I think they're pretty cool little things to collect. Um, I know they have Crash Bandicoot and a few others, so I definitely want Crash Bandicoot. Um, PlayStation, if you guys, you know, are listening to me or Tokatu, whichever, make a Sweet Tooth the Clown one. I would love to see a new, um, just anything really from Twisted Metal. Um, I'm really hoping to see something at E3 for Twisted Metal, um, but I'm just, I'm really hoping. I love Sweet Tooth the Clown. I think he's just such a cool character. But this is the to Tokatu um, God of War Kratos figure. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. It'll be pretty cool to put on the desk. Um, I wish it was a little bit more detailed, but it's just, it's a cool little thing to, you know, kind of a conversation starter if somebody's like, oh, hey, what's that? You know, I could be like, hey, it's, you know, Kratos from God of War. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, then please let me know because I'd love to do more unboxings. I'm thinking about doing like Loot Crate and stuff like that, maybe getting the subscription to those and then opening them maybe once a month whenever they come out. Because I, I, I've always wanted Loot Crate, I just never really had an inspiration to go and pay the money to go get it. But I, I'd like to do a few more unboxings like this, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I might pick up a, more, a few more Takatu figures if I can find them, or really figures in general. I just, I want to be banging out content for you guys and good content at that. You know, I know lately has been really, you know, difficult. Um, I've been changing jobs, I've changed um, where I've lived. I was living at my college and now I'm living in my own apartment, so um, that changed things a lot, but now I've got a nice job where I only have to work the weekends, so I've got all week to work on videos and I will just sit there and I'll bang them out as much as I can. So thank you guys all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and or comment. I'll see you guys later. See ya.